हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई कोर्स ऑन सेल्स फॉर सी एल आई इन एंड आउट दिस इज़ माई फर्स्ट कोर्स दैट आई एम पब्लिशिंग थ्रू एस एफ डी सी फैक्ट्स अकेडमी एंड यू ऑल कैन वॉच इट फॉर फ्री ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल विच इज़ एस एफ डी सी फैक्ट्स इन दिस कोर्स वी विल बी कवरिंग एवरी थिंग अबाउट सेल्स फॉर सी एल आई एंड वी विल बी लर्निंग वट सेल्स फॉर सी एल आई इज वाई यू शुड यूज सेल्स फॉर सी एल आई एंड हाउ यू कैन मैनेज योर डेटा और मीटा डेटा विद सेल्स फॉर सी एल आई so let's first see what are the things that we are going to cover as part of this course first of all we are going to learn what salesforce cli is and how you can install and use salesforce cli why you should use salesforce cli and what are the different benefit comes with salesforce cli then we are going to see the difference between salesforce cli and sfdx because most of the time people use these two terms together which actually confuses the audience and they often thinks that salesforce cli and sfdx is similar thing then we are going to see how a salesforce cli command is written what are the different things that you need to know about a salesforce cli command then we will be covering the main topic of this course which is creating and managing your salesforce orgs metadata with salesforce cli here we are going to talk about how you can deploy things in your salesforce org using cli how you can retrieve your metadata using salesforce cli how you can run different commands like push pull using salesforce cli how you can create your apex classes lightning components how you can run your test classes with salesforce cli so everything is going to be covered in this topic in the end we are going to see how you can automate things with salesforce cli so we are going to create a script which is going to perform a bunch of things in your salesforce org on its own what you just need to do is just to schedule that script or maybe run that script and one more thing that i didn't mention here is how you can manage your data with salesforce cli so we are going to have a look at that as well we are going to see how you can import or export your data with salesforce cli so these are the things that we are going to cover in this course and i'm very excited to see you all in this course so let the learning begin if you do not want to miss any of the video in this course and if you are watching this course on youtube.com then i have a smart tip for you search for my channel sfdc facts on youtube.com and go for the playlist and here you will find a playlist named as sales for cli in and out click on that playlist and on the right hand side you will see all the videos or lectures in this course 